Hey guys, how's it going? Sabre here with some news that EA has released from FIFA 13 to tempt you to part with your money. No, it's not news the clubs have been fixed or the servers are going to be absolutely perfect, but FIFA 13 will be out on 28th of September around Europe that is at least, America would probably get it a couple of days before as they tend to for some bizarre reason, they don't even like soccer. But anyway, the pre-order bonuses. First of all there's going to be a FIFA 13 Ultimate Edition as there was last year, so you're going to get 24 gold packs overall, it's one per week for 24 weeks. To be easier it sounded honest last year where you got it on the first of every month and you could just open it at your leisure. I even had to be reminded at that so I'm probably going to forget even more when it's on a weekly basis. Now whether they'll have anything useful in them is a different story, they're usually full of crap as gold packs tend to be, but then again it's better than a kick in the face. It will cost slightly more than the regular version, but it's sometimes worth it, you get a bit of coins anyway, even if you have to discard everything in the offer. So then there's going to be two pre-order bonuses as well. So there's the EA Sports Football Club bonus, you're going to get 10,000 extra club credits which you can redeem against items like celebrations, a boost for your virtual pro attributes and extra matches in the head-to-head -head seasons mode, so you'll have a couple of extra bites at the apple to make sure you get promotion or avoid relegation. But it's interesting to see that the experience and credits that we've built up through FIFA 12, other FIFAs, FIFA Street and so on, will suddenly become worthwhile and will actually mean something. The other pre-order bonus then is the Adidas All-Star Team, so you'll have 23 of the world's top players, uh, Lionel Messi, Nani, Benzema and others as well, they haven't listed too many of them. They'll also have special Adidas kits that you can then use in online pro clubs. It's nice to see that they'll finally have an actual all-star team because the World 11 from FIFA 12 was a bit of a joke. I think I've touched on this before. Uh, myself and a friend of mine love playing, you know, the World 11 versus Classic 11. So I would like to see those kind of teams still in it, those kind of custom, unique teams. But the all-star team is a nice pre-order bonus as well. So that's it, guys. Let me know what you think of these news announcements in the comment section below. Are you excited about FIFA 13? Do these announcements make you more tempted to buy it and pre-order it? And will you be picking up the Ultimate Edition just to get your hands on those gold packs, just in case anything actually comes of it? I did manage to get one of my informs, my only inform this year, from one of the freebie packs. So, uh, well, don't let that sway you, but I'm just saying that you can occasionally get something interesting. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Saber, and I will talk to you very soon.